Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have some weekly wows. And this is going to be um, two weeks worth of weekly wows. I didn't do one last week because I had I was a little busy last week. Um, if you follow me on Facebook or if you're friends with me on Facebook, you know that I had a new addition to the family. I had a new grandson that was born on Friday. So I had his um, big brother, which is Bennett, who is 15, no, 16 months old. And um, I just didn't get time to film my weekly wows. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I have a little bit of a mixture of some makeup and some skincare. So I'm gonna kind of go a little bit back and forth between the two. So first I'm going to start with this product here and this is a product that was in one of my pink soul boxes and it's the Super Aqua Moist Facial Mist by IOU I think is the brand. But anyway I use this every single morning after I have gotten done with all of my makeup and I want to really um, just get that powder look down and really add back into my face some moisture. And I have been using this. I love, I actually really enjoy the spray on this because it's a really fine mist. It's not splotchy or anything of that nature. It just really goes on just really nice. It just pumps on just beautifully. And it just really helps to get that powder look down. It adds so much moisture back into my face. And it's just been really, really nice for this time of year. And I'm almost, I am almost out of this. Oh my stars. I probably only have about another week or two weeks left in here. Um, and then it's going to be gone. And I'm so sad because, you know, I'm on the, the no buy and I have at least 10 more facial sprays that I need to use. But once everything is gone and I need to repurchase a facial spray, I think I'm going to go back to this. And it has, um, sea grape argan in it which i'm not for sure what that is but um it is very hydrating and they say on here that this is type of um it's a type of kernel that is supposed to keep the skin vibrant pr by providing nourishment and hydration and it definitely does that and i just actually really have enjoyed using this. It took me a long time to really start using it. I've had kind of put it aside and man, I really do enjoy that. So that is one of the things from my Pink Soul Box that I'm so glad that I got. Another product from my Pink Soul Box that I had received is from the brand Nine Wishes. And this is a, it's called Hydra Glowing Deep Hydration and it's a serum. It's a hydrating serum and I use this in the morning time as the last thing that I put on before my moisturizer because I've just been needing a little bit extra moisturization and it comes in this little dropper and it has just been perfect for just adding that little extra moisturization that I have been needing between the the mist and then this that I've been point, putting on my face has just been staying so hydrated um, especially you know with all of the extra heat that we've been needing this last few I would say the last month actually you know about toward the end of January all the way up until now we've just been getting so much cold weather luckily it hasn't been anything like you guys up in the north have been getting you know we haven't had the snow or the ice like you guys have gotten or the below zero temperatures but it's it's been pretty cold for this for this area for us i mean we've been in the 20s which i know it's not like the minuses but for us it's been pretty cold everybody talks about it and i'm like yeah it's that cold wind blowing off of lake erie that we're getting <laughs> But yes, I have been really, really liking this. And I pulled the little sheet. I've been trying to keep my sheets from the um, pink sew boxes. And this serum is $20. I mean, 
gosh, for $20 and for the hydration that this stuff has been providing, this is really good. So if you're interested in this, you could go onto the Pink Soul website and you could probably find it there. And it's a Hydra Skin Ampule Serum, which provides hydration and moisture. And it, it most certainly does that. And like I said, I've been using it of the morning time. I have most definitely been enjoying using that. And then um, let's go into some makeup products that I have been enjoying using. Oh, oh yeah, here it is. I start saying I didn't bring the one thing that I had. I wanted to show you that was on my face, and this is from Natasha Denona, and it's the Blush and Glow little mini that I got from Sephora, and this is in the color, let's see, let me see, um, Blush and Glow, Natasha Denona, hmm, what does this say it is, oh lord, that's so small, I can't even see it with these glasses. All right, I'm going to have to get my magnifying glass, which is over there, or Bennett left it <laughs> the other day. Hang on, let me get it. I'll be right back. Okay, on the back, it says it contains tartrazine. I don't know. I'll have it linked down in the description box because I'm not for sure. But anyway, it has a little highlighter, which I do have that on as my highlighter, and then this glowy blush here. And that's what the blush is that I have on today. But I just pulled this out of my collection and have been enjoying wearing it. Um, of course, my lights are going to wash it out. Let me see if I can get a really good heavy swatch so that you can see the color. But the color is a really good, just like a really um, peachy pink color with a lot of glow to it and then there's the highlighter there and the reason why I pulled it out is to wear with the eyeshadow that I'm wearing and the eyeshadow that I pulled out and been wearing it quite a bit over the last couple of weeks is another Natasha Denona product and this is the um, mini Lula Lila Lila palette and the colors that I've been wearing the most are on this end right here, which is this really pretty um, kind of a burgundy berry color. And I have that on the outer portion, like the V type area of my eyelid. And then I have this as the glitter or the glow portion of my eyelid. And then I have this color here in the crease. Of my eyelids so I'll just kind of close my eyes and let you look at that and that's how I created the eye look that I have on with the ex exception of one other um, eyeshadow that's on my eye and I will show you that next but I've just been pulling this eyeshadow um, palette and just been wearing the heck out of it it is just so pretty the only color that I haven't really used a whole lot is this blue right here um, I did wear it one day as a eyeshadow um, eyeliner type underneath the eye, and it was pretty like that, but I just haven't really worn it a whole lot, but it is really pretty. I need to wear it one day in like the outer V of my eyeshadow, or my eye, just to give it a try. But I just haven't ventured out into that. Oh, I'm trying to pull my sleeve up should give you some swatches but it's just really a really pretty eye look and these Natasha Denona mini eyeshadow palettes are $25 so if you're wanting to dip your toe a little bit into the Natasha Denona world you can most definitely do so with these minis the little um these little mini um blush ones are like $19 so you can most definitely do that, but I will tell you, um, just like my friend Annie said, when she purchased some of these minis, um, you're definitely going to open um, a Pandora's box because once you try out these formulations of the Natasha Denona eyeshadows, 
you're going to be hooked and then you're going to want some of the bigger palettes and those my friends are expensive but the quality of the eyeshadows are so nice that yeah you're going to want them so be prepared to want to get those so put them on your wish list your birthday list your anniversary list your christmas list <laughs> put them on all of that but anyway so i have definitely been enjoying this palette and then another palette that i pulled out that i haven't used in a very long time and again it goes back to the fact that i'm shopping my stash and pulling out stuff that i haven't used for a while and it's just my urban decay naked basics 2 palette and i've been creating a lot of really nice looks with this palette but the one shadow that I've been using a lot is this one right here, which is the color, what is this little dude called? Oh, I gotta put my glasses on. I have to have the glasses and the magnifying glass to see this. That is so sad. Oh, what does that say? Stark. Anyway, what I've been doing with this color is I have been putting this all over the lid. Um, up to the crease just to kind of create a um, a canvas color so to speak that's really close to the color of my eyelid or my skin tone which you can't hardly see it because it's so close to my skin tone and that is what I have on underneath these colors here and that created like the canvas that I would create so the color that is up from the color that you see up to my brow bone is just my um, primer that I have on. So that is it right there. But this has been, cre I mean, I've been using pretty much the first three colors here to create a eye look on its own. So I've been enjoying using this. And again, that's just something I pulled out that I haven't used in a while, actually a long while. And I'm just thinking, why haven't I had this out in such a while? But anyway, the only color that I don't really use a whole lot is this dark color here. And I don't know, what color is that? Like a really dark, dark, dark brown? Yeah, I don't use that a whole lot. But um, be truth be told, there's a lot of colors like that and a lot of palettes that I don't ever reach for. Like um, a black eyeshadow and eyeshadow palettes. I very rarely will use those, hardly ever. So let's go back to another skincare product, and that is this one here, and this is from Claire's. And this is what I've been using for my sunscreen, and this came in um, back in November for Wish Trend when they were doing their Black Friday event, and this was the Gothamista um, skincare bundle and this is what she selected to put in her bundle as a skin um, sunscreen and it's the um, soft airy uv essence everyday sun perfecter with an spf 50 plus pa plus 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 i like using it for several reasons one is it does not smell so, smell like sunscreen two it doesn't feel make me feel like i'm being suffocated Three, it feels more like a moisturizer lotion than it does a sunscreen. And four, it works wonderfully underneath makeup. So I have been using that. I'm like down to here. I'm almost done. This will probably be done for by, I don't even think it's going to last me till the end of February, but I have most definitely been enjoying this and I recommend it if you're use if you're looking for those types of qualities in a sunscreen, then try this one out. It's very good. It doesn't smell like a sunscreen. Um, I don't really notice a fragrance in it at all. It absorbs into the skin pretty quickly. And like I said, I have been definitely enjoying that one. And then another product that I have been using, and have been using it for a very long time, and definitely enjoy using it, is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. It's just a product that I use once a week on Sundays, and it's just an exfoliator that you put on your face, and it's a chemical exfoliant, and it just looks like that there. It's green. 
um, you put it on clean skin that's a little bit damp and you just use like a pea size amount and you rub it over your skin and then you just let it sit there for a couple minutes and it has these enzymes in it that just work like if you think about Pac-Man how he's going around eating all the little dots that he's trying to get all of those eight before the little um, monsters eat him that's how I think of it I just think of the little Pac-Man's on my face just eating all the dead sin dead skin cells that's on my face and that's how it works it does have a little bit of a stinging sensation to it um, some people can tolerate it better than others if you feel like it's a little bit too strong for you you might just leave it on for maybe a minute or a little bit less until you kind of build up a tolerance to it or you can kind of dilute it a little bit with water and use it that way after you've left it on for a couple minutes, you can add a little bit of water and then just kind of manipulate it around with your hands and rub it and kind of just do a really light massage and then just leave it on how I do it. I'll leave it on for another minute and then I'll rinse it off and it just leaves your skin so smooth and just feels like you've had a really good exfoliant done where it's more gentle and it doesn't take a very long time and you doesn't have to do a really harsh scrub it does all the work for you and like i said i do it once a week on sundays while i'm waiting for the stuff on my hair to sit <laughs> i do a lot of stuff on sundays in the shower i'm like doing all this stuff you know conditioners and treatments and face treatments so sunday is just my get a lot of stuff done cleaning house <laughs> all that and then another makeup um, favorite that I've been using, and this um, was at one time limited edition, but they've come back out with it. And it's by Anastasia, and it's the Amorese Amorese highlighter. And I have just been really, really liking this. It's just a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. If you haven't had it or tried it, you need to. Yeah you like a highlighter that's going to make you shine to the moon and back <laughs> then you need this you definitely need this highlighter and speaking of highlighters um, the winner for the giveaway for the Ofra highlighter the little kit the mini um, kit that we did a couple weeks ago um, the winner for that giveaway is going to be in the description box so make sure you look in the description box and if you are the winner then you will need to contact me at my email address and that will also be in the um, description box so make sure you're looking down there and um, contact me the winner I'll put that there and also if you're not looking in that description box you need to because I put a lot of extra information in the description box a lot of times you know things that I may have forgotten to mention or maybe I said something that was incorrect and I'll put that correction down there in the, the info box so make sure you're looking at that but anyway yes um, if you did not get this the last time when it was you know out and you thought about it and now it's out again and you don't have a champagne highlighter that looks like this oh, you need to get it you do you do need to get it I am going to get my brush and I'm gonna put some on I really want you to see what this looks like because it is just so pretty so I'm just gonna put it over the top of that Natasha Denona because that was that was a pretty highlight but it's a very subtle highlight so if you don't like, you know, glowing to the moon and back, that's going to be for you. But this one right here, oh my stars, this one's so pretty. I've been wearing this one most days because it's just so pretty. I mean, can you see that? Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. I love, I love this. And do you see how pretty that is? Wow. So anyway, so that is it. Um, then I have another favorite that I pulled out. Um, I'm trying to 
go back and revisit stuff that I've stashed underneath the bathroom sink that I've used for a while and then I decide well I'm gonna move on to something else so I'm kind of looking under my bathroom sink um, in my little cupboard you know wherever I can find so I went back and I pulled this out and this is something I purchased um, at Ulta was it last summer I think and I got it on clearance and it's the Nooney Deep Cleanser Snowflake Cleanser, and it's a makeup remover cleansing balm. Now, unfortunately, um, you can't get this at Ulta any longer. You can't get it on Amazon. I looked. Um, the only place I was able to find it where you could get it was on eBay. But basically, it's just a balm uh, makeup remover cleanser. And I like it because it emulsifies very well, and then it just rinses off clean. And it doesn't get all goopy in your bathroom or in your bathtub because you know like i said before i am a bath taker i don't like i'll do a shower on sunday morning or when i'm going to wash my hair but most of the time I'm, I'm taking a bath and so i like that and it just takes everything off really nice very easily you don't have to tug at your eyes so i do like that for that fact so that's one that I've been liking, and uh, my goal is to use this up this month, and I possibly may get it this month. If not, I'll get it in March. And then, you know, again, with trying to go through my underneath my sink in the bathroom, I came across this, which is the 100% uh, Pure Blood Orange Cleansing Balm. Oh. I hope I can get this off yes which looks like this here and so I thought well I'm gonna go back to using this and try it I don't like this and the reason why I don't like this is that it does not emulsify and so it comes still it still stays kind of glopped and then you go to rinse it and then you get these little um, clumps in your bath water which kind of float around and you know I don't like that I don't like floaters in my bath water and I'm afraid that when it goes down the drain that it's going to clog my drain and my pipes and we live in an older home and the pipe system is not the greatest and I just I just think that you know I just keep thinking I just cringe because I'm thinking well I'm just put lard <laughs> down my pipes so I am going to declutter this I'm not going to try I'm not going to risk it it's not worth the risk of ruining my pipes of having something that's not dissolving and emulsifying going down my drain so I'm going to get rid of this so anyway we'll see how that goes when I do my empties for February if I actually do that but anyway, so I'm not necessarily enjoying that. And then the last thing that I have that I've been enjoying is this palette here from Morphe. I don't know if I've talked about this before. I probably have. It's the um, Artistry Palette 35V, which is Stunning Vibes. And I pulled it out because one day I was um, wearing a um, shirt that has some teal color in it. And I needed a teal color. And so I needed it for uh, this color right here. But anyway, this actually has in it some of the same colors like right in here that the Natasha Denona palette has in it. So if you're really not wanting to get into the Natasha Denona, you might look at this palette because it kind of has the same colors. Color ways. Now, of course, you know, the Morphe eyeshadows are nice. They're not exactly going to be the same quality as the Natasha Denona, which you can't see any of that because my lights. But, um definitely try this out if you are a fan of morphe eyeshadows which you should be because they are pretty good considering just don't just steer clear of the ones from jacqueline hill <clears throat> jacqueline hill the vault ones don't get those um, but these in the black this black like this these are really good and they blended really well and i just have really enjoyed using these quite a bit actually 
but um, I'll swatch some of these. But there's some of the colors there that you could actually probably get the same eye look that I have on right now with these colors. But you know, so I've been enjoying using that eyeshadow palette too because I pulled that out just to get that teal color and I was like, oh, let me use this for a couple of days. So anyway, so that is it for my weekly wows with one um, giant weekly wow that is my absolutely favorite and, um, and that is my new grand baby and I'm going to pop a picture up here of him. But um, him and his mama are doing wonderful. They got to go home today, so that is good. And um, they're doing perfect, doing well. And so now we just got to all get settled into a routine. And cause she'll be going back to work in about eight weeks. And I will be having him and his brother a couple days a week. And then my granddaughter, that's three, so I'm going to have a three-year-old. 16 month old and a newborn <laughs> to watch um, in addition to taking them to work with me so that's going to be fun <laughs> uh, so I will definitely need prayers <laughs> for for that but we'll we'll manage we'll manage so anyways thank you so much for joining me today I hope you have enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon